Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters. On this beautiful Christmas day today, and I want to wish all my brothers, all my sisters, every boy and girl around the world today, a happy, happy, merry Christmas. But instead of all that, always give Jesus the thanks today. Always give Him the praise today. Always give Him the glory, because it was Him that woke you up on this day. It was Him that gave you your health today. They gave you your strength today. They breathe light inside of your body today. If there was no Jesus today, there won't be your, there won't be no you today. So you are up and alive because Jesus says He is not finished with you yet. He said, Don't throw in the towel yet. Don't give up yet. Don't walk away from your dreams yet. He said, I'm working everything out for you right now today. And even though that you might not see things happen the way that you want to see happening, even though that your situation is still looking the way it's looking like, even though that your circumstances is still looking the way that it's looking, not looking like, he said, still trust me anyway, because I have it already figured out. I already done, done it. You right now today, my brothers and my sisters, every boy and girl right now today, you just now aware that Jesus has already done it for you. He is testing you right now today just to see are you going to trust him just a little little while longer? Are you going to continue to put your faith in him just a little while longer? Are you going to continue to put your hope in him just a little while longer? My opponent is my brothers my sisters. Praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. You continue to give him the thanks and praise and glory, even though your situation is looking where it's looking at right now today. You continue to praise him. You continue to worship him. You continue to magnify his holy name, no matter what it's looking like. Because Jesus has everything worked out. It's already done. Once you put it in his hands and you have faith as small as a mustard seed, he says it's already done. So until it comes, you continue to praise him because he deserves all the things. He deserves all the praise and he deserves all the glory. Amen. Amen. Our God is good. Our God is amazing. Our God is faithful. Our God is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He never changes. And he never changes on us and he never changes his mind. That's why I love about him so much. You can always count on him. You can always depend on him because he got your back all the way to the very end. Amen. Amen. My brothers, my sisters around the world today, I want to say thank y'all for taking y'all time out on y'all busy on y'all busy schedule today to tune in to listen to another word and receive another message that's coming from my heavenly Father God today. Words can't even explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am. Excuse me. Right now today, the y'all guys took y'all time out to be part of today's service. Y'all could have been doing anything yesterday, but you chose Jesus ministry YouTube channel today. And I just want to let you know from the bottom of my heart, I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I'm honored. I'm blessed. It don't matter. It's only one. I'm still thankful just for that one. And if I'm thankful and grateful and honored and blessed, how much more do you think I have my Father God is? He is so thankful and grateful and honored because of your faithfulness and your obedience that you have towards this ministry that right now that he is doing something new in your life right now today. And according to the word of God of Isaiah chapter 43 verses 18 through 20 that he is doing something new in your life right now today. And I believe that clips of new things by the head your way. This is your year. This is your season. This is your opportunity. In 2018, God is about to show up in an amazing, amazing way in your life. Some new things is heading your way. And I'm speaking into an existence. I'm prophesizing over it. And I'm declaring it right now in Jesus' name. That in 2018, that you're going to see some new things come your way. And if you believe it like I believe it, and if you declare it like I declare it, shout out hallelujah. It's mine in 2018. Tell somebody, say, it's mine in 2018. And I know it might be only a couple days left in this year, but I know it don't take but a second for Jesus to turn things around. I know it don't take but a split of a second 
for him to show up and show up in our life. So I know in 2018, some new things is headed our way. Amen? Amen. Give him some thanks right now. Give him some praise right now. And give him some glory right now in the house of the Lord. Amen? Amen. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And he is worthy. And he is so worthy to be praised. Amen? Amen. Is there anyone out there in the world today? I mean, anyone out there in the world today that's really, really ready to give their life to Christ right now today. I boldly encourage you right now today to step out on faith, to head to the altar right now today. Is there anyone out there in the world today that's been going through some pain, going through some suffering, going through some anxiety, and you've been trying to take it on by yourself, but right now you know it's, it's been coming overpowering to you. It's becoming overbearing to you that you ready, ready to let it go? Please, I ask you right now today to step out on faith, to head to the altar right now today, and leave it right there. Is there anyone out there in the world today who has lost their trust, lost their faith, lost their hope in Jesus? But right now you know some deep down inside you tell that you need to go back home. And some telling that you need to return back to Jesus because Jesus has not forgotten about you. And if that's you today, my brothers, my sisters, I boldly encourage you right now today to step out on faith, to head to the altar right now today. Is there anyone out there in the world today that's been looking for a church home? You've been looking, you've been looking everywhere. But right now you seem like you seem like you ain't found any home that benefit you. But right now something's telling you that, that Jesus' ministry right now is your new church home right now today. I want to say congratulations to my brothers, my sisters. I guarantee you that Jesus and myself will make you feel right at home. He will always have a word. He will always have a message for you. We will always have praise and worship in this ministry. We will always thank him and glorify him in this ministry. If there's anything that you want me to do as your pastor, as a prayer or a prayer request, or that you want me to pray for a certain person, or you, that you want me to preach on a certain um, subject, please let me know, and I would love to do so right now today. My point is, my brothers and my sisters, every day somewhere around the world, someone always procrastinating a lot. Always say they're going to do this. Always say they're going to do that. But always somehow same way to put Jesus on the back burner. You make time for every and anything else. But when it comes to serving Jesus, to, to stepping on the faith, you always have an excuse. You always procrastinate a lot. And there's a lot of people who have done that. But right now, someone right now today was fighting for their life right now in the hospital. But we are praying for them right now today for a speed of recovery. There's a lot of people who don't have their chance, who don't have their opportunity anymore because they're dead and gone. My point is, my brothers and my sisters, the Bible tells us that tomorrow is not a promise to neither one of us. Not next week, not next month, or next year. And if you have not asked Jesus to come into your life to be your Lord and Savior Christ, today is the day that you have your chance. Today is the day that you have an opportunity. Today is the day that he's given you an obligation for you to step out on faith to say, What's the problem? What's the hold up? Are you going to continue to procrastinate? Or are you going to continue to put me on the back burner? Because it's going to come a time when it comes. When it comes, do not wait till it's too late. Because when it's too late, it's too late. There's nothing you can do about it. Today is your chance. Today is your opportunity. Don't worry about who's looking at you. Don't worry about what people might think and say about you. Don't worry about the haters. Don't worry about the naysayers. Today is the day that you got to say, Lord Jesus, today is the day that I boldly ask of you. They come into my life to be my Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that, right then and there, you're saved, you're born again. You have just accepted and received the Holy Spirit. And I believe somewhere around the world today that someone just made that bold confession. Right now, this is the only time when the angels really rejoice when somebody asks you to come into their life when they come home and be with the Lord. And I believe someone just made that bold confession right now today. I'm not here to build a church. Not at all, my brothers, my sisters. I'm here to help the lost souls. Why do you think Jesus preached so much outside the temple? Because that's where the lost souls was. That's why I'm always encouraging somebody to ask Jesus to come into their life because there's a lot of lost souls out there. There's a lot of lost souls right now at church, right now today, who go to church every Wednesday, every Sunday, still haven't asked Jesus to come into their life. And they're right there praising and worshiping and fellowshipping with you right now. 
but still don't know anything about Christ. Not at all. I was like that at one point in time. So I made that bold confession. That was the best thing I ever could have done when I made that bold move. I didn't care what people thought or said about me. I didn't care how they felt about me. It is how I felt about Jesus, my Lord and Savior Christ. I wanted to be with him. I wanted to go wherever he wanted me to go. I wanted to do whatever it is he wanted me to do. I wanted to be who exactly he wanted me to be. That's why I made that move. And I'm expecting some other day to make that bold move as well today. Amen. Amen. My brothers, my sisters have an amazing word today. And in this word today, I just know that someone is going through it. And I don't know who it is, but Jesus told me he, do, he does his best work in dog situations. And right now, somebody is going through it or has been and still is in a dog situation. And you wonder, wonder why you're still in that dog situation. Because Jesus knows that you trust him for something. He knows that your faith in him for something. He knows that your hope is in him for something. And right now, you're in that dog situation. But right now, I got some I got some news to tell you. Jesus does his best work in that dog situation. And he's going to make sure that he that you come out of that dog situation sooner than later. I don't know when, but sooner than later that you will come out of that dog situation. And he's going to reveal yourself. And everybody going to know that it was the work of God that helped you during your dog situation. Amen? Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out. To give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you for this word. I can't thank you for this message that we're about to receive today. I can't thank you for all my brothers, all my sisters, every born girl around the world today. That's part of today's service today. I just can't thank you enough for our health today, God. I just can't think, think you know that you breathe life inside our body today, that you touched us and that you healed us, that you're protecting us, that you're covering us right now today, God. I just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy. I just can't thank you enough for the food that you prepared and blessed our table with, the clothes and shoes that you put on our back. I just can't thank you enough that we're able to seek you today, to praise you today, to glorify you today, to put our trust and our hope in you again today. I just can't thank you enough, G, because we know that you're working things out in our dark situation today. I just can't thank you for our blessing, our breakthrough, our anointing, our deliverance today. I just can't thank you enough how you move in mouths on our behalf right now today, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough for your love. I just can't thank you enough for your patience. I just can't thank, thank you enough, Jesus, for everything that you've done, for everything that you're doing. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do. Because I can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. Amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn your Bible to John chapter 12. And we're going to read verses 35 through 36. That's John 12. And we're going to read verses 35 through 36. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Let's begin. Then Jesus told them, you're going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light before darkness overtakes you. The man who walks in the dark does not know where he is going. Put your trust in the light while you have it so that you may become sons of the light. When he had finished speaking, Jesus left and hid himself from them. And right now, somebody's in a dark situation. Somebody marriage right now today is in a dark situation. Somebody's health right now today is in a dark situation. Somebody's dream right now today is in a dark situation. Somebody finances right now today is in a dark situation. You're in a dark situation. And the reason why you're in that dark situation right now today, my brothers, my sisters, is because that you put your faith and your trust and hope in Jesus. That's the only reason why you're in that dark place. You're trusting Jesus for something. You're counting on Jesus for something. You're depending on Jesus for something. And if you wasn't, you wouldn't be worried about 
if your marriage in that dark place. You wouldn't be worried about your health and your finances and your dream if it was in that dark place if you wasn't trusting Jesus for something. There's no way, no how. But you trust in God for something. You're on your knees each and every day praying, worshiping, asking Jesus, why am I still in this dark place? Why is my marriage still in a dark place? Why is my finances is still in this dark place? Why is my dream is still in this dark place? Why is my health is still in this dark place? And you're asking them why. It's not wrong to ask Jesus why. Even Jesus himself asked his father why have you forsaken me? It's not wrong asking that question. But right now you're in a situation that you're asking that question. Amen. But I like how Jesus broke it. He said, said, walk while you have the light. And we know that Jesus is the light. We know that Jesus represents the light. But he said, man who walk in the dark don't know where he's going. You don't know where you're going in the storm. You don't know where you're going in your journey. You don't know where you're going in your valley. You don't know where you're going in your assignment. But it's the light that's guiding you in the storm. It is the light that's guiding you in your in your valley. It is the light that's guiding you in your assignment. It is the light. And we know who the light is. Jesus represents the light. We also know that Jesus does his best work in the dark. That's why I said you only have the light for a little while longer. But he said the person who walks in the dark does not know where he's going but put your trust. Look what he said. Now look at that key word in this text. And put your trust in the light. When you put your trust, your faith, and hope in the light, which is Jesus, that's why you're in that dark situation. Because you are putting everything in your power in that light. You're putting your hope in that light. You're putting your faith in that light. You are putting your assurance in that light. That's why you're going through what you're going through. That's why you're in that dark situation. But when Jesus said, when you put your trust in the light in a dark situation, he's letting you know, I'm going to take care of it. He said, I know how dark it is right now. He said, I know that you don't see things happening. I know that you don't see things progressing. But one thing Jesus is telling somebody right now today, I don't know who it is. It could just be for me. He said, don't you dare throw in the towel. Because when you put your trust in the light, he said, I'm going to shine through you. I'm going to shine through you, but just don't throw in the towel. Just don't give up yet because I didn't throw the towel on you. I didn't give up on you. I got you right here, my brother. I got you right here, my sisters. But don't you dare throw in the towel. Don't you dare walk away from your marriage. Don't you dare walk away from your health. Don't you dare walk away from your dreams. Don't you dare walk away from your family. Don't you dare walk away from your finances. Because I'm working things out right now. I don't need no help. I got everything under control. I don't know who I'm talking to right now today, but somebody's in a dark situation. Somebody been in this dark situation for a long time. The point that you can't see in the storm. Period. But just know for a fact that Jesus is with you in the storm. Don't look at it like you're in the valley by yourself. Because Jesus is in the valley with you. He know that family fors forsake you. He know that so certain friends forsake you. But he said, I'm of the living God. I am with you. He said, I'm with you. Amen. Amen. He said, put your trust in the light while you have it. While you have it. While you have your trust. While you have your faith. While you have your hope. Continue to put your trust in God. No matter what, how difficult the dark situation might look like, you continue to put your trust in me. Not man, but me. That's what Jesus is telling somebody. He said, when he had finished speaking, Jesus left and hid himself from them. Why do you think that Jesus left? Why do you think Jesus hid himself? He left and hid himself because when he is done working out your situation in dark times, people are going to know that it was Jesus that brought you out of that dark situation. They're going to they gonna know that it was Jesus that worked everything God in your marriage, in your health, in your finances, in your dream. They're going to know that it was the living God who was giving you the strength each and every day. They're going to know that it was the living God who made a way out of no way. They're going to know the living God who worked everything out in your dark situation. And you're going to share your testimony to somebody. I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. I don't know who I'm preaching to right now today. But if I'm talking to somebody, if I'm preaching to somebody, somebody got to say, I 
I know Jesus is going to work it out. I know I'm in a dark situation, but Jesus does his best work, my brothers. Jesus does his best work, my sisters, in dark situations. Then when he was in the tomb, it was dark in that tomb. But when they go look for him, he was gone. Lazarus was dead in that tomb. He done his best work. But Lazarus didn't. Job was going through what he was going through. But he done his best work when Job was in a dark situation. Now didn't he? Right now, Jesus is doing his best work inside of you. In your dark situation. And he's going to hide himself. And the reason why he's going to hide himself, he's going to let you know that it was him that was working everything out in your dark situation. My opponent is my brother, my sister, this text. My opponent is my brother, and sister, this message. Continue to put your faith and trust in Jesus in your dark situation. Because it is him that represents light. And it is light that represents you. And he is working through you right now today. He knows how dark your situation is. There's nobody can help you in your dark situation more than Jesus can. So you continue to put your trust in, in the light. You continue to put your faith in the light. You continue to put your hope in the light. You continue to put your assurance in the light. And I guarantee you that when Jesus is done speaking through you, when Jesus is done working everything out to you, he's going to hide himself. And when he hides himself, he's going to tell you and show you that it was me that was working everything out in the dark. He said he works best in the dark. Right now, he knows it's in the, bar, in the dark. But my point is, my brothers, my sisters, even though your marriage, your finances, your health, your dreams, whatever it is, that it look like it's in the dark, don't you throw it right, don't you throw it in the towel. Don't you walk away from it, don't you give up because it is Jesus that represents the light. It is Jesus say, trust him in your dark situation. He said, trust him. Do not throw in the towel. Job didn't throw in the towel even though he, he could have. Job was going through a dark situation in his finances, his health, his marriage, and everything. But Job never threw in a towel. He never threw in a towel. Now did he? Jesus didn't throw in a towel on you when he was going through, when he sacrificed his life on that cross. He didn't throw in a towel. Now did he? So that's what he's telling somebody today. I work best in the dark. So my point is, my brothers and sisters, you continue to trust him in your dark times. And if this word, and if this message for you today, I want you to give Jesus the thanks right now, the praise right now, and the glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Jesus, I know that you're working it out in my dark situation because he is. Because he's working it out for me too. I'm in a dark situation. I'm bold enough to speak on it. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. Yes, Minister LT is going through some dark situations. But I know one thing, I put my faith and trust and hope in him every day because I know at the end of the day, that's all I have, my trust, my faith and hope in him. Because if I didn't have trust, faith, and hope, I wouldn't be in a dark situation. And you wouldn't you wouldn't either, my brothers, my sisters. And I'm not gonna throw in a towel. He had bought me this far. There's the way I'm walking away from it now. Because I know that he's working things out in my life right now today, even though I don't see things happening. He's working it out. And he's gonna hide himself and he's gonna reveal himself. Through me, he's gonna reveal himself through you, my brothers, my sisters. Amen. Amen. And before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Could you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying this.